it's your crazy fake Shabby here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're gonna be reacting to episode 10 of Andor, um, One Way Out. And whoo, guys, the hype has been real. This show is amazing, as I say every time that I open this um e intro up. Um, this show is amazing, and I mean, the build-up has been absolutely incredible. The conversations that we are having on Twitter, on YouTube, everywhere, it's just so good to see it happening. And it's so cool to see people talking about it and having such, like, big conversations about that. Like, I never thought that we'd have such big conversations about fascism and just the war and ugh, torture and all that stuff. And politics nowadays in a show like this and even on the internet, it's pretty sick. And very impressive. Um, Tony Garoy has outdone himself with the writers and even himself with writing. It's just... It's perfection. Anyway, let's not beat around the bush, guys, because this episode we know what's going to happen. There's going to be a big um, breakout from the prison, which is exciting. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. But anyway, let's jump into this and let's just, yeah, let's watch this. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Oh no! Why? God damn it. I thought there would have been a bit of a jump. I hate how they, they're they pulling the body through there while there's so many people. Oh My god, Andy Serkis has been so incredible these past few episodes. It's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow. We can't wait. We'll never have a better chance than to keep them quiet. What would you call that? I call that power. Power. The power doesn't panic. Mmm. I'm pretty sure the parts that they are making off of the Death Star, which is weird. And burn off a You don't have time to be stupid. Come on! Plan works around the new man. Then die giving them what they want. This is the the Andor that we're familiar with in a couple of years in Rogue One. Come on, Kino. Oh, Ke Jesus, Cassian. He said they made a mistake and sent back a man. Oh my God! They fried two ships to keep it quiet. No one is getting out. We're gonna die here, or in the next place. So let's get our heads back in our cells. Stop figuring this out. <sighs> yeah, a lot of people are saying that character, like with the ginger hair, who's also from Chernobyl, um, the show, um, they're saying that he might be working for the Rebellion. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, there could be a possibility, which would be interesting, but not sure about that. But we'll see. <laughs> Let's go, boys! <laughs> I asked her what she thought she was up to. She said, Your heels were pulling me off the food, and she'd rather keep me than I wanted to go home. Then try go away. Oh, they're watching her as well. Oh, that's the guy! I can't do it. You've made your point. Oh. Yes, <laughs> least one. I have a 14 year old son. I'd like to bring him with me. A son? Some kind of trophy. And what are we talking about? An introduction. My daughter's 13. She'll soon come of age. Two young people, attractive, privileged, young girl and citizen. Oh no! Oh god. Wow. Okay. Oh, that is huge because you guys know my reaction on child marriages, especially when I found out that obviously she was a part of one herself. Oh my god. Why do I feel like she actually is going to do it? Because I feel like, in a way, hmm, I'm trying to think because I think this, in a way, it's interesting because it could go two ways or it could go one way and it still has this effect. If she does do this, 
the daughter hates her and cuts her off forever, which stops her being involved with Mon Mothma and does, in a way, protect the daughter to some capacity. That, it could go an interesting way, but a heartbreaking way too, and just, ugh, I, oh, ugh, just, yeah, that's weird, oh my god. And I can't imagine what the husband will say too. I mean, I feel like the husband will be fine with it, but he'll also be like, but why to, a sh like, the Shendrilin, like, family, like, why? Because she's obviously hated it for so long. Why suddenly? It doesn't make sense. So... Yeah, it's ugh, it's a weird situation. Right, what's going on to the stairs? The rail was gone. Plane break, crash. Ooh, what does that mean? Face to face. That goes today. Who wants a meeting? Not now, I don't like very Oh, um, so Guerrero? It's been a year. I'm surprised he waited this long. If it's a trap, we've already lost. It's been a year. So it's not so Guerrero? I'm confused. Or maybe it is, I don't know. The time's weird. Where is he? Leave me what you can't know. How? Oh, you were dead already. <laughs> He's a little bit of a coward. If he outslip, I swear. Yas, boys. Look at them go. Come on, gentlemen. I got Cassian. <laughs> what did you say to me? I said nothing. I mean, if you want to say something, you should say it now. Stop! Get in there! Come on, boys! <gasps> no! Oh my god! There's gonna be a lot of murder. I forgot the, about the blasters. No! Oh, it didn't work! Because of the water. No! Oh! Oh, yes! Nice! Oh, oh that would have been to his face, oh my god. Melshi! Means. Turn it off, it takes months to get it back up and running again. <laughs> it has to be you. Come on, Kino. You do this every day. Tell them what to do. Come on. We are at this moment in control of the facility. Is that the best you got? You want a cheerleader? <laughs> Get Cassian. All the floors are cold. Wherever you are, stop the work. Get out of your cells. Take charge and start climbing. Yes. We will never have a better chance than this. Yes. I'd rather die trying. Oh, what a shot. That ends today. There is one. Oh. Right now, there are 5,000 of us. We can fight half as hard as we've been working. We will be home in the matter time. Oh my god. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Kino. Ah! Kino, go. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my 
god. Wow. Oh. Whew. I mean, I need to calm down. I feel like those moments, they're so... Oh, that whole scene was so important. We're going to talk about it later. Oh my god. Ooh. Is he working for the rebellion? Let's see. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself. Is he? This is a trap. Press the buttons for 215. He is! He's the mole! Running Express. First of all, congratulations. Your daughter, healthy, beautiful. You've become a father. It's not worth mentioning. It's not fair. What? You had nothing to do with Aldani. Oh, almost nothing. We were invited, but declined. I got lucky. We don't build on luck. Oh, he's trying to break this. Yeah. And if he doesn't, I'll know something's amiss. He'll be slaughtered. It's 50 men. You have to warn them. To what end? Ruin everything. Oh my god. What better way to reassure the ISB that there's no leak in security than sacrificing Creek? <laughs> Oh, what a shot. I can't do this anymore. I'm a father now. I've been working my way through that for six years. Working my way up. Alone. It must be terrifying. What were you planning to tell the ISP? My health. My wife's. Family has an important business. Even as you say. Yeah, it doesn't sound... Your health has been perfectly fine, mate, for the past how long, and now suddenly... Constantly, I do. Your investment in the rebellion is epic. The double life, every day a performance... The... It's for everybody who's involved with the rebellion. And what do you sacrifice? Yeah, I know. What does he actually sacrifice? That actually is such a good question, though, because he doesn't do anything! Kindness, kinship, love. I've given up all chances oh. of peace. I share my dreams with ghosts. My anger, my ego, my unwillingness to yield, my, my eagerness to fight. They set me on a path from which there's no escape. I yearn to be a savior against injustice without contemplating the cost. And by the time I look down, there's no longer any ground beneath my feet. I'm condemned to use the tools of my enemy to defeat them. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. Oh! Stop! So what do I sacrifice? Everything. Everything! Oh, I need all the heroes I can get. I just want to say that that last line, I need all the heroes I can get, it's almost like a DC Avengers thing, but it's so beautiful because, in a way, that moment highlights everything. We go from Cassian, who is this guy who steals stuff, who sells it to, like, all these different people, and then you have someone like Bix, and then you have someone like Melshi, and, um, just everyone we've come across in this story, um... What was his Nemec? Yeah, we have someone like Nemec who had the manifesto and then Skeen and then um I'm trying to remember all the names. Sintra and then Vel. All everybody all has such an important part, but they will never be remembered for their sacrifice that they've made. I think the I mean, to a certain extent Mon Mothma may because she's very higher up. Um and if she does I I can't remember her fate with the whole thing. I need to actually find that out because I actually can't remember if she makes it out. But um, either way, going back to this, um, it's still so heartbreaking because it's the same thing with real life. So many people sacrifice themselves for their rebellion, their own rebellion, and they end up not being remembered. But what is remembered is the, the victory and the sacrifice, but it's still not individually. It's as a whole how much the sacrifice is made. Oh my god! I love the show! Oh my god, look at my babies! Go! Run! Be free! Oh my god. Oh!
Willie Gippo, Willie, Willie Mon, blah, however you say it. Oh my god. And Tony Gilroy and everybody in the director, I forgot the director's name, but you know. Oh my god. Oh, that was so good. Is there going to be a, is there a credit thing? No, okay, there isn't. Just double checking. Oh my god. That, oh, I think that was a pretty short episode compared to some other, oh, it was like 40 minutes, that's alright. Oh my god, that was, that was amazing. Oh, the, the, the writing in this, in this episode, um, was so good with all the speeches, the big speeches, because I was like, if we're having a moment where it's like very rebellious and very like growing, like, and making these people believe in the cause. You've got to have a good speech. That speech in the prison and Andy Circus. We all know how much of a fantastic actor he is. He is so good and just, he needs to win more awards, you know, because he's just fantastic. Um, and then you've got the, uh, uh, um, Skarsgård, Skellen, Stellen, Skarsgård, I can never remember his first name, but Skarsgård, you know what I, who I'm talking about. That speech, that whole speech about him sacrificing, like, you know, because even, like, for me, like, I was thinking about it too, especially after the whole thing with Aldani, how he laughs and stuff, and he's, like, you know, re in a way reaping the the reward of knowing that it happened. He reaps it, and then the others are just, like, half of them are dead. You have him reaping the rewards, and then we have him here explaining exactly what he's done for the cause. He's given up... Because he knows, and it's beautifully put, because he's given up everything that could possibly hurt him. Um, except I feel like he's very close with the assistant, so I feel like if anything happens to her, he will feel very guilty. But anyway, um, he's given up everything, like a, his life and everything, and he's... The, the, oh, the, the one thing that he was saying about, like, I'm giving up something, uh, I'm giving up... Uh, I'm doing something for a cause that, um, like, he's giving it up for a sunrise that he will never see. Oh my god, it was beautifully written, more better than I'm recapping it, but oh my god. That was just so beautifully written, just because it, again, like, with my whole, my whole culture and everything with that, but even just my love of history, that brought back, that literally brought so many, like, memories and just, like, everything that I've ever learnt in my life in terms of history with just all sorts of cultures who have gone through this sort of pain where they've had to rise up and fight and just oh the emotion that went through my body oh my god it it was beautiful and just this is this is what beautiful writing brings you that's real true and honest and just it's on it honestly means so much that writing like this is being highlighted and people appreciate it i'm getting really emotional but just Oh, even today we have so much injustice with so much happening and just it's a world that I'm so afraid of I won't even lie I'm getting really deep here but just like I'm afraid of the world that we live in right now I, and so much injustice goes on and just in the past as well that keeps being brought back into reality and in even into this modern age but seeing something like this even though it's fiction and you know all that stuff that hope that hope is so important and just yeah, Bo, <laughs> just, oh my god, thank you so much for writing this amazing episode, because goddamn, <laughs> it's just so good, yeah, it's, it highlights so much, and I think there's so many people in the world who actually do connect with this sort of subject, it's true, and it's honest, and it's real, and just, again, I can't, I can't, Oh my god, just, yeah, thank you so much to everybody who wrote this episode and just everybody involved, because it was amazing. Oh, I had to take a moment there, but anyway, going back to this episode, the performances from beginning to end, so good. I loved everything to do with it, and I love how we did go back to Ferex, like that little jump back to him, um, and just, I love that little jump back to there, but also just finding out about um, Marva and how she's very like worried about what's going on and she's conscious and she's not even taking her meds I don't want her to die but I feel like she is gonna die in the next two episodes oh my god the pain oh my god I'm gonna cry <sighs> Diego Luna like I think a lot of people are sort of, I, I sort of like that he's 
He's not in the background, but he's instigating a lot of this stuff. And this is the thing that we saw in Rogue One too, like him pushing people, motivating them. And we saw it here as well, just how well immediately he can do it. Just like he he believes in a cause and he goes for it. Like he's seen what happened with Aldani. He's, he can see the injustice that happens in the world and he knows what needs to happen. And of course he has Melshi behind him who supports him. Fantastic performances and just yeah, again, going back to Diego Luna, just so good. And just, yeah, the way he was acting, especially, like, in the beginning where he's, like, s- like shaking Kino. And he's just like, come on, dude. Like, we gotta do something. And the- his voice, as well, is such a powerful tool. Very much like Andy Serkis, but the way he was talking was just very, very powerful and just very emotional, too. And that scene of... Or, like, that massive scene of, like, the prisoners trying to get out, climbing up the walls, helping each other, just... It's so beautiful because it starts off with Ulov like dead and, and just the body being po- bo- brought through is so powerful because like that's a reminder to everybody that that could be them and also basically like that is their death sentence if they do not do anything and just yeah they they ugh. This episode was so powerful, and I keep changing my mind, but this episode was so good. I I mean, I think this whole season has been bloody fantastic, so I feel like the whole season's gonna be my favourite, but this was so good, and just... Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to this episode, episode 10 of Andor, uh, One Way Out. Just beautifully done and executed. This is huge... Um, I, again, just, I'm blown away by this show every week because it's so, again, it honestly means so much to me. Because at the beginning, I think, I think even, like, a lot of people did, but before this show came out, I was like, oh yeah, you know, like, I, they are going to focus on the rebellion side of it, the empire, etc. But it's like, how far are they going to go? I didn't realize how far they'd go. And to see how deep they're digging into those wounds is huge. And just so many, like, again, history moments and just, it's so real and perfect and just, ah! Also, going back to the whole thing with Mon Mothma, really quick, just the whole child marriage thing. I don't know how that's going to go down. That's going to be huge. Like, what's going to happen? Like, is she going to agree to it? Like, ugh, it's, oh, it's going to be questionable because obviously that guy really wants like, I guess, the son to come into society and what way to do it than in a marriage with her daughter. It's going to be an interesting decision to see what she does. Like, I feel like she is going to do it and it's going to cause more hurt. And just, oh, the acting as well from Genevieve, just her. Like, she had such a beautiful poise throughout that whole time, except for that last part when they're leaving and she's just shaking, tears in her eyes, just beautifully done. But I feel like... In a way, that guy was right that she, for the first time, she was lying um, in that moment because I think she was thinking about it and yeah, I think, I definitely think she's considering it, but who knows? We'll see you next time! Anyway, I'm going to stop because otherwise I'll keep blabbing and blah. So thank you guys again so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fingal, out. Woo!